Monkeys and welcome back to the third installment of the series. We're making decisions on the fly and seeing how things are going. This job has uh, given us lots of unique uh, and interesting problems to deal with and today will be no different. Uh, today we will find out what our final solution is and continue on with a full dig on the rest of this project. So we've started off our day, we've pumped out the hole, we are ready to start our dig and lay process. Currently Jesse is still rocking and dropping the pipe in, you'll see that later. And I'm just going to clean up here and get this stuff uh, ready to go so we can get pipe in the ground. As we left off the last video, I'm rocking the bottom of the hole. Jesse is setting the pipe, the fiber plate, and setting the rock over the top of pipe while I begin my next set. Here we'll notice that Jesse is just running out of reach to be able to reach the bottom. One of the solutions that you can come up with to be able to increase your reach is running a longer chain or strap. That way the boom can actually reach straight out instead of coming downward in an arc which loses reach. As you just heard, Andy has realized that Jesse is just not going to be able to reach the hole, so we're going to change up the program. I'm going to pull the fiber plate out of the hole. That will become part of my routine.
So the reason I'm holding off on not digging the next set is because we're coming up to that lift, that elevation lift that Jesse's tracking up and down. He's gonna be able to set the pipe. We're gonna see, and our, I'm kind of waiting to see, is this where I take over doing most of the dig and lay operation? I kind of figure I know what's going to happen. I'm just waiting for Andy to make the decision to tell me, hey, this is what we're gonna do. We need to change up. You're gonna do everything on your end. Jesse's just gonna move material and give you, help support you with whatever needs to be done. Never done this before. All right, so the way this works out with the two guys in the hole, the guy standing over the other pipe is the soper, the guy at the front of the pipe on my side, that is Hector, he's the guy that's going to guide the pipe in, get it aligned, make sure it's on grade and that the banana is not affecting the grade of the pipe. just at the end of it. If it's at the end of the trench, that's all gonna get filled in anyways. Because all the crumbs are gonna fall in. Also, another thing is, I understand that I'm over digging it. These pipes are not 20 foot pipes. So I know that my set is around 20 feet and there's plenty of room in there for the pipe.
Part of the routine of putting the whacker in the hole is cleaning the bottom of it, make sure there's no chunks of mud or anything stuck to the bottom of it since it was sitting up top. Then we'll fire up the whacker and that prevents all the smoke that this diesel produces uh, right off the bat and that prevents the guys from having to breathe it down below. Did you catch all that? Jesse, you take that pipe, you spread it out along the edge there. Shane, you grab the pipe, you put it in the hole, stab it, and slam that thing home. It looks like he wants me to put the pipe in. Yeah, I love hand signals. They are so much better than trying to yell at each other and figure out what the other person's saying. have here is just another iteration of the ever going changing conditions of the job and the foreman's making the right decisions to change it up and that way we can get the best performance out of what he has available to him. This is highly not recommended for straps. The hole that's on here is kind of hard for a shackle because we need either a really large shackle, which usually the pin doesn't fit through the hole because they made the hole too small. It's not a standard D-ring. 
So what happens is you stick your strap through your D-rings and they're usually pretty gnarled up from shackles and the weight from other things you're hitting stuff with it. And then they tend to cut up your straps. So it's not a good idea to do it that way. You usually want to use a shackle or a hook that's designed for it. in and hits it, it's going to wind up down here. Hey, as long as Jesse's on top of the pile, it's fine.
right, so we're at the point now, it's just a rinse and repeat situation where I dig, rock, lay the pipe, rock over the pipe, and dig again, and continue that process over and over again until we reach the end of the line, uh, which is going to be a manhole. So there will be one more video after this where we do our tie-in into the existing manhole. So look forward to that, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can get notified when I put out new content, and leave a comment down below of what you think about this video or previous videos, because your comments help push my videos out to more people, and without your comments, it's harder for uh, YouTube to push my videos out, so I appreciate anything, a thumbs up in the comments, uh, emojis, whatever you like thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like my videos let me know why you don't like the videos because i can't fix them if i don't know what's wrong with them as always thanks for tuning in be safe out there and i'll see you guys in the next video